what's going on dudes it is david and we are back with another video now in this video guys i'm going to be previewing the formula one grand prix at germany the 2019 german grand prix now we all remember what happened last year it was going to be vettel's race before he made a mistake going to one of the last corners the stadium section and put in the wall now before that race if we remember it was Lewis Hamilton's race to win at his home race and ended up, something ended up happening, Vettel won, and turns out at the German Grand Prix last year, Hamilton won. So, it was kind of like a switch around from basically what happened before. But this year, do I think Vettel will finally, will, will get the win here in Germany? To be honest, no I do not. I see Ferrari being strong during free practice 1, 2, and 3, but then when it comes to qualifying, something is going to happen. Charles Leclerc will probably be qualifying better than Sebastian Vettel, and Vettel will be struggling again because ever since Canada and that whole penalty debacle, Vettel has not been the same person, and from the, the, from the British Grand Prix, we can already tell. He... He, that, that incident with him and Max Verstappen was just straight Vettel's fault, and there's nothing else to say about that. And the way he, and then it was just like, they gave him a 10 second penalty, but it's just like, what's the point? And the way Vettel's been driving, he's just like, he drives with, like he has no confidence at all, like he has no confidence in himself. Because this, if we remember guys, we remember like 10 years ago, or, not, wait, not even 10 years ago, I think it was about 9... Between eight, seven and nine years ago, Vettel was at his peak. Vettel was performing good in that Red Bull as a young driver. And as soon as the regula regulations changed, it was everything but Vettel's, you know, I think. He stayed at Red Bull for two, I think, two years after he won all those four championships. Did not do good at Red Bull. Then he moved over to Ferrari. And since then, he's won a couple races for Ferrari. But besides that, I don't really see him winning this German Grand Prix this weekend. Now the guy I expect to see winning this German Grand Prix weekend is not a guy that you would actually expect. I did say the Ferraris will be strong. I didn't say I did say Vettel wouldn't be strong, but I didn't say Leclerc wouldn't be strong. Because my prediction for the German Grand Prix is that Charles Leclerc finally gets his first F1 win at the German Grand Prix. He will win the race. Lewis Hamilton will finish second, Valtteri Bottas third, Max Verstappen fourth, Sebastian Vettel fifth, Pierre Gasly sixth, Lando Norris seventh, um, Daniel could be at eighth, Carlos Sainz ninth, and I would honestly have to say, give me a reckoning in tenth. That's my top ten prediction for the race, and I didn't even want to go into the race real quick, but I just went to that. Now, I should have just, I should have just, um, you know, I did this. But in the qualifying, I see Hamilton getting the pole because it is a Mercedes home race. Leclerc starting second, Bottas third, and then the same the same way I have it. Well, the for five, four, five, and six. That's what I have. Vettel, I mean Verstappen, Vettel, and Gasly. And that's what I have. So yeah, um, but the German Grand Prix. I mean. Last year was a, was a very exciting race due to, I think, the fact there of the rain coming in. and Well, not the rain coming in, the rain going away. And then Vettel, you know, like, was, I think Vettel, I'm not even sure if I remember, Vettel was on slick tires and it was still wet track. And he went, he went to, like, that hairpin section and just went in too deep, locked the tires up, and went straight into the wall. Now, do I think something like that will happen? Probably no. I don't think anybody's going to make a mistake like that on in the race. During practice and qualifying? Possibly. But who do I expect to be a shock factor here? Besides the McLarens, because I I, already, I think the McLarens are definitely going to do good in this German Grand Prix. I would honestly say watch out for... Watch out for Alfa Romeo. I think Alfa Romeo are going to have a good weekend in um, this German Grand Prix. Um, just because I think... Well, the German Grand Prix obviously has a long street... It has, I think it has two straight, two straights, but the second straight is like the longer one, and that man is going to be so good for overtaking. Hopefully, you know, like with the arrow it is now, you know, like the cars are able to easily overtake. Well, not easily overtake, but it it, it makes it more oppor opportunities to overtake cars. 
I mean, yeah, basically. So, yeah, um, that's uh, that's really the German Grand Prix. That's all I have for that. Um, if I um, let's see if I think let's see if I can think it think of anything more. Oh, with Hamilton coming off the back of the British Grand Prix win, Hamilton's gonna be Hamilton's been driving in the form of his life, and I don't see anything that can really stop him. But that young guy, Charles Leclerc, because I think if Charles Leclerc gets to that lead without Ferrari strategy um, screwing him over, I think Leclerc is going to be a very, very tough opposition. And you got to remember, guys, that Ferrari is very, very fast in a straight line. I think it's, yeah, I think the Ferrari engine is faster than the Mercedes engine in a straight line. So if, Ferrari, if Leclerc gets in Hamilton's... Um, in, in the Hamilton slipstream and it's coming down to like two laps to go expect I expect Leclerc to get past Hamilton and Leclerc to get this first win at the German Grand Prix and this would be Ferrari's I want to say Ferrari's first yeah Ferrari's first win I think this season because I'm pretty sure it was a Mercedes that won the first four rounds I want to say and then of course Verstappen's won Austria so I think only one team has won besides Mercedes and that was Red Bull so I think, yeah, Leclerc will get Ferrari's first win here in German Grand Prix, and they're going to get redemption from last year where Vettel's made that mistake, and he's just been making mistakes each year, and since, since I think he's been making mistakes in Ferrari since, like, i say about two years, and I'm not sure Vettel will be in Ferrari past two seasons. I think he's going to be there for 2020, obviously. I think he has a contract with them. But past that, I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't really see Vettel being Ferrari past two seasons. Where you got um, Antonio Giovinazzi, um, who can who can be a surprise factor. They, it, let's say they promote Antonio Giovinazzi to Haas. And Haas is basically a Ferrari B car. Then Antonio Giovinazzi is an Italian driver. And Ferrari is an Italian team. So I can see it, Antonio Giovinazzi replacing Vettel in like two years time. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please just smash the like button. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace.